We are here with Texas Senate candidate Ted Cruz, who I met last year at CPAC. We've got one year of the campaign down and a couple more months until a uh, primary battle and then the real battle in November. So how's the campaign going so far? It's going fantastic, sir. We have got momentum that is just at this point, conservatives all across Texas have united behind our campaign. And we see conservatives all over the country united behind this campaign. As you know, the Texas Senate race is ground zero in the battle between the Tea Party and the Senate. Yeah, it's reminded me a lot of the, you know, the, the quintessential example, the Charlie Chris versus Marco Rubio race in my state. And you have an opponent who has a lot more money. Um, what, how are you, how, what's your strategy for taking on Lieutenant Governor Newhurst? Well, I think there are profound similarities between the Chris Rubio race in Florida in 2010 and the race in Texas now. Both in that David Dewhurst, like Charlie Chris, he is an incumbent moderate. He is the essence of the establishment. He runs away from the fight. He is a conciliator. And we've got too many of those in Washington. We've got too many Republicans who won't stand up and fight the Democrats who won't stop the Obama agenda. On the flip side, just like Marco Rubio, we're building a grassroots army. Because in Texas, people want our next senator to be a strong conservative fighter. And this race presents a very clear contrast between a timid career politician and a strong conservative fighter. So how are we winning? We're winning using several things. Number one, building the strongest grassroots army in the state. And it's a grassroots army throughout Texas and throughout the nation. And I would urge your viewers, come to our website, tenderreads.org, and join us online. We have supporters in all 50 states. Join us online, join us on Facebook, join us on Twitter. Make a contribution online. We've raised over $4 million from over 12,000 donors in all 50 states. And that's the resources we need to go up against my opponent, who's independently wealthy and is going to write tens of millions of dollars of personal checks to flood the airways with TV ads. And then get 10 of your friends to do the same. The strength of this campaign, it's been viral. It's been Tea Party leaders. It's been Republican women. It's been grassroots activists. It's been everyone who's concerned that if we don't stop the Obama agenda, if we don't stand up and defend liberty now, we will lose. That's what this race is about. And that's why I'm running. That's great. I know you have a background as a constitutional lawyer, both um, working on the Bush v. Gore case and as Solicitor General in Texas. If you were in the Senate right now, what would be your strategy for dealing with these non-recess, recess appointments that the precedent seems so fond of? You know, yeah. President Obama has had a consistent path of ignoring the Constitution and, and, and seizing the latter. And, and it is, he is perfectly willing to circumvent Congress and he ran his agenda down the of the American people. These recess votes were unconstitutional and frankly the Senate needs to be standing up fighting for them. Uh, you know, sometimes it seems Republicans in the Senate, they follow the philosophy of ready aim surrender. Uh, we've got to be standing up fighting for them. And, you know, I mean, as you noted, I was the Solicitor General of Texas for five and a half years. That's the chief lawyer for the state of Texas in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. During the time I served, over and over again, Texas led the nation defending conservative principles. We defended the Ten Commandments before the U.S. Supreme Court in one. We defended the Pledge of Allegiance in one. We defended the Second Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms, and one. We stood up and fought the world war, the United Nations, and the President of the United States defending U.S. sovereignty in one. What we need now more than anything else is fighters in Washington who believe conservative principles. But back then to stand up and fight. Recess appointments are a perfect example of the kind of issues we ought to be standing fighting for. And 2012 will be the tipping of getting strong conservative fighters in the Senate to win these fights. I know another thing that's been a, a big fight up here has been the um, fast and furious issue. And, you know, I frustrated because I just don't understand the reason at all to be sending guns to a foreign country and not being able to track them. Um, what legally can be done to speed this up? And, I mean, I don't see the president or the or I don't see the president. What legally can be done to speed this along and, 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 and get them out of office? Look, Fast and Furious is a scale. It's an outrage. I mean, I've spent much of my adult life in the The idea 
idea that federal law enforcement officers were willingly, knowingly selling guns to Mexican drug cartels, knowing that these guns would then be used to murder innocent civilians, to murder at least one federal law enforcement officer, I mean, that is, that, that is jaw-dropping. And there has got to be accountability. I have been speaking out on this for a long, long time. President Obama needs to fire Eric Hall. Whatever he knew or didn't know, the responsibility, there needs to be accountability for this. And law enforcement is fundamentally failing when you start selling guns to drug dealers. You ask what can be done. Listen, you're right. This president so far has shown a willingness to ignore the Constitution and ignore the law. There is a remedy in the Constitution, which is the House of Representatives can begin impeachment proceedings for the Attorney General. And if Eric Holder will not resign, if President Obama will not fire him, the House of Representatives should commence impeachment proceedings right now. Because when the Department of Justice becomes a gun runner, there's a real problem. We've lost all track of that. Well, uh, just to wrap up, I'd like you to um, tell my viewers what they can do to get more involved in your race and stay informed and what they can do to support you in your campaign. Absolutely. You know, I'll tell you right now in the U.S. Senate, four strongest conservatives in the Senate are Senator Jim DeMint, Senator Mike Lee, Senator Rand Paul, and Senator Pat Toomey. I am incredibly honored and humbled to be the only candidate in the country that is supportable. And every one of them has endorsed me and they've given the same reason. They've said, listen, we need reinforcements. They're outnumbered by Democrats and they're out outnumbered, sadly, by fellow Republicans. A lot of people are understandably frustrated with the presidential race. Whatever happens with the presidential race, the Senate is going to be the battleground. And the Senate's a tipping point. If we can grow the number of strong constitutional conservatives from six or seven up to 10 or 12 or 15, it will transform the Senate. If you want to repeal Obamacare, the Senate is going to be the battleground. If you want to dramatically shrink the size and power of the federal government, the Senate will be the battleground. If you want to audit the Federal Reserve, if you want to secure the border, if you want to pass fundamental tax reform, the Senate will be the battleground. And what it will take to get these done is strong conservative leaders. I need your help in building a national conservative army. I would ask every one of you to come online to tedcruz.org. Join us online, join us on Facebook, join us on Twitter. Make a contribution. If you can make a big contribution, that would be wonderful. But if you can't contribute $10 or $25 or $50, we've raised over $4 million because 12,000 people have gone online and contributed. With the funds necessary to get our message out, we will win this race. And I'll make a commitment to you. When we win this race, Texas is going to help lead this fight. And I will be standing in front helping lead the fight to stop the Obama agenda, to dramatically shrink the size and power of the federal government, and to restore the Constitution. The stakes have never been higher. If we don't stand and fight now, we're going to lose our country. And I need your help to win this fight. And with your help, we'll win this fight, and we'll turn this country around. Great, thank you so much. He's got my endorsement.